dirt. It's been a while since I've played a dirt game, and we are now here on the brand new Dirt 5. And not only are we here on Dirt 5, we are here on the brand new Xbox Series X. Here's the here's the controller for proof with the little new D-pad and stuff. This is the X. But yes, this is the first game and first racing game I'm playing on the brand new Xbox Series X, the first YouTube video to be uploaded on it. So we're going to see how that kind of differs from the previous one so far. I mean, games load a lot quicker on here. But with that said, you guys should go check out Dirt 5. It is available on Xbox, PS4, Stadia, Steam, and the Series X all on November 6th. You can pre-purchase the game or find more information about the game in the link right at the top of the description. But with that said, we're going to get right into this game, all right? We're going to go straight into career mode, go to the first race, and uh, what do we have here? We have a... Ford Fiesta RS and then a Skoda. Well, I'm very unfamiliar with the uh, Skodas. It's not from my kind of country of origin. So we're going to go with what I am familiar with, which is the RS Fiesta here in Ultramotive Red. Peep the lucky number, number 12 right on the side there. Look at that. Ultra Cross. This event was literally made completely for us. It is freaking the Ultra Cross. But with that said, I'm going to hypothesize that this is going to be a Rally Cross game mode, which means that we'll have some tarmac and some gravel and some dirt, just kind of a mix of a bunch of surfaces, because that's usually what Rally Cross means. But with all that said, let us get right into Dirt 5 on the Series X. Immediately, this game feels crisper than one of those dried up banana snacks that you have oh my gosh this game is beautiful just look at the freaking smoke and look at the dust it's flowing smoother than freaking lava from a volcano right now hopefully you guys are watching this in 60 frames so you guys can get the full idea here now we're gonna get kind of used to the controls i have it set on manual mode so we're gonna have b to upshift a to handbrake and x to downshift so far the difficulty i believe it should be set on medium but oh my gosh this game is so pretty and it sounds amazing you guys should definitely play with headphones if you can because i just love all of the little rally crackles and burbles i mean these rally cars sound truly like none other and this game really delivers that authentically and we have our first jump going right into this i gotta make sure i upshift the gravity in this game so far feels precise it doesn't feel like you get air time for far too long or it doesn't feel like the car is too heavy or too light so that's a plus and you guys can see down below there's some flames got some flames coming out of the tiny little exhaust pipe these rally cars have really small small little wiener pipes compared to the big jdm cars i'm used to driving in video games i love the attention to detail you can see the straps the spare tire the full roll cage all of that inside the car through the back windshield. I don't know to my knowledge if these maps are real life based or if they're completely generated. I'm going to assume that they're generated based on hybrids off what is actually in real life, which is really cool. I mean, this map just feels like you're out on the seaside shores, kind of like where Thor migrated to in uh, the latest Avengers. I love the texture that comes with this game. It really boldens everything up and it just allows the game to feel a lot more high definition. Now handling, I still have to get a feel for, um, but so far I have no complaints. And with that, we have just aced the first place in the first race of career mode so that is what you're going to experience um career mode looks like it basically puts a lot of cars in your same class all up against each other and you get to go through all the maps so let's move on out of the career mode and we're gonna go find ourselves in online here now online is personally my favorite game mode out of any video game ever it's just like playing with other real people just cannot compare to playing with ai's uh, however unfortunately i have the game early right now i can't find any friends i i don't have any friends to play with hopefully when you guys have the game you guys will have other friends with Dirt 5, or you guys can convince your other friends to go get Dirt 5 to play along with you. So, But next up is Arcade, and Arcade sounds fun. So you have the option of time trial and free play. So free play is basically you can mock up any sort of race scenario using all the assets of the game. And you can see here, you have all these really cool maps. You have the USA, South Africa, Nepal. I don't think there's a single racing game that just has this diversity in country or continent. I don't think I've ever raced in China before in a video game. I mean, I probably have, but like, not to my knowledge. The Yulong River Uphill. And now you have all these different classes. 
Holy cow, you have a whole bunch here. Um, Formula Off-Road. I don't know what that is, but that sounds intriguing. I mean, I know what Formula One is, but I have no idea what Formula Off-Road could be. Let's make this fun. Let's make this worse for us in every possible way. So heavy rain, the time will be, I mean, it'll be midday. The grid size, 12. Event difficulty, we got medium hard. And we got very hard. I think I'm full sending it with very hard. Okay, so apparently this is what Formula Off-Road is. This freaking tractor. What on earth is this thing? <laughs> it's, I can see it's got a massive motor. Freaking spaghetti headers that come right out of there. It looks like some sort of Jeep tractor hybrid. Look at the spikes. Look at the spikes on the freaking tires. Definitely looks like the type of vehicle that can go up a hill vertically. So anyway, we have the option to create a livery, which you have these really cool different patterns that will be preset for you. Unfortunately, you need levels to unlock it. So we'll just go with boring pattern number one here. Although you could customize your layers. Ooh, texture. This is cool. This is all cool. Decal editor. Oh, you have a bunch of different options here. I really want the carrot with the dumbbells. Do you guys see that? Look how adorable that is. I'll name him Oswald. Oswald the carrot. I could add a sponsor. Oh, that's so cool. So we have all the partners of this game. Wow, this game went all out. Oh my gosh. You have so many options here. Yo, Logitech. All right, we got to put my boys Logitech out here. We'll put my biggie carrot boy right on top. With that said, let's just freaking jump into it. Now, I do want to say ahead of time, the setting is on very hard, and this is Jack Ultra Motive driving. Those of you that watch my YouTube videos by now should hopefully realize that Jack Ultra Motive is not necessarily the best, or if even mediocre, at driving. So if I somehow win right now, you guys all better like the video or subscribe or one of those things, because this is going to be interesting. This is... Horrible weather conditions, crazy map. Oh my gosh. So this is Yulong River, China. And look at that. We boosted right into the lead. Okay, we jumped over everyone. So I guess that gave us our advantage. I did not expect China to be this tropical. This is like, you guys see the palm trees everywhere. This is literally like on a tropical island. But yet this is apparently Yulong, China. Well, I guess Dirt 5, not only is it an entertaining game, it is an educational game because it is educating me on the geography of this planet. What on earth just happened? I'm, I'm not having that. We are restarting. That, I'm not having that. Do you guys see that? I just got completely pummeled. That doesn't count, okay? Oh. Like, don't get me wrong. Career is fun and all, but dude, free play. Being able to make whatever race you want. This just hits different. And yeah, that's right. We're in first place. I don't expect that to last very long but we gotta hold our ground as much as we can we're literally almost a quarter way through look at these cool bridges you're going over rivers and everything gosh these maps are so sick they remind me like the really unique maps that you would just find on games at the actual arcade because like those off-road games just had some of the most wildest maps if you guys ever been to just an arcade i know those things aren't as much of a thing anymore with you know online gaming but it's very ironic of me to say that because we're literally on the arcade game mode right now so it's very fitting. We're going to battle these two. Oswald is lifting the dumbbells, and he's going to lift us all the way to victory. I am not going to let anyone get past me because I may not know how to drive properly, but I at least know how to crash properly. And I'll make sure I make all the other guys crash or crash into them to prevent them from winning. So I'm going to use my lack of skills to my advantage here. Oh, boy. What's his name? Bernard P. Bernard. Get out of there, Bernard. No one's messing with Oswald. He is the strongest carrot that the nation has ever seen. I absolutely love this map, though. You got puddles all over the place. The mud is just flying in your face on the screen. And it's rather dark because we set this to midday. This is almost like dusk with this lighting. It's just the rain and the stormy clouds are just completely covering the sky right now you got spectators you got spectators everywhere you go which is really cool and i love the addition of that because it just makes everything feel really lively and even though i'm playing alone right now it doesn't make me feel alone so this game always feels like a party but we're 86 percent i'm not gonna let them win i ain't gonna let them win holy cow look at the views off to the right you're not 
taking me down. No. Yeah, there's a victory. Yeah. Holy cow. How? How did I, on my first time playing this game, I just won on very hard. I don't know how I won on that difficulty. Jackal's Remotive should never win on the hardest difficulty that any game has to present. With that, I gotta tell the dirt creators, you guys have to make your very hard setting a lot more hard. Damn, we taking dubs out here. Freaking winning on very hard. That makes me very hard. So that was arcade. That was very uh, exciting and very fun. And they also have the time trial mode. Now we're gonna go over down to a game mode that caught my eye called playgrounds because if you guys know me you guys know my favorite type of game mode in any game will probably always be the playground style I'm, I'm definitely a man of just pure fun and never take anything seriously what do we have here oh my gosh look at all these oh this is so cool i don't even know what to do we have gymkhana with two rings of fire we got bus blast with nothing but buses and this one appears to be the most popular one of them all, the X Games 2020, with 778 hearts. Putting us right onto the starting grid, we have the Skoda to work with. We have Bone Crushers 258 is the time to beat. The world record on this... Oh! Again, back on the grid. Um, 258. Let's try and beat that. Now, looking at this course, my gosh, this looks like something out of Hot Wheels, which is amazing. Back again on the grid. Okay, let's try and make the first jump now. We're going to put our commentating aside for now. I am making this jump. There we go. Straight across. As I said before, 258, time to beat. Looks like a Hot Wheels course. I mean, I don't know if these are all user created or if they're just handed to us by the game. But either way, this is something that I've never seen before in a dirt game. And this is pretty rad. I absolutely love it when games just kind of put their simulation and serious senses aside and just add in something that's completely for the sake of fun. Because simulating is always fun and all but i think it's the fun stuff that you get to compete with against friends or that you get to just do that really lasts longer and that's going to make the game last longer in the long run now i didn't think i was going to be good at dirt to begin with and this is really going to push the test to that because this is a lot more difficult than the career races that they have but that's not saying it's a lot less fun because oh my gosh what do we have here we have a spiral that I'm just, I, I look like the freaking dude coming up the spiral garage in Tokyo Drift with his completely destroyed S15. I'm trying to drift her down the spiral. It's hard to do in all-wheel drive, but we're getting the tire smoke out. Okay, I gotta yoink the handbrake for these sharp turns. Not that it's really helping me, but what is this? It's just a constant right turn all the way down. And we're jumping back onto another ramp. More puddles. Ow. I was just trying to do 360 entry. That's all. Don't mind me. Ooh. Ooh. Kind of navigated through there nicely. I like that. Coming along the final stretch with a 322. We are over 20 seconds off from the record. But we're not the slowest person to do this course, surprisingly. I love the options. You got retry, skip, and less of this. Um, you know, I love it, but I'm, I'm gonna have to go with less of this. That, ladies and gentlemen, right there is a perfect reason why you guys should go out and get this game. Because my time is 322. Now, you guys have no idea if that time is good or super slow or just completely embarrassing. But if you guys go get Dirt 5, you guys can go to Playground and you guys could go click on the X Games 2020 race. And you guys can set a time yourself and see how much better you can be than Mr. Jack Ultra Motive right here. I think that is my reasoning why you should go pick up Dirt 5. Mm, I want to show you guys... Mm. I want to show you guys the garage. So let's go over the cars that Dirt 5 has to offer. We have the brilliant old school rally cars right here the lancia the rs200 we have a porsche 959 rally car these things are the legends in the rally world and for some reason you have a mustang fastback in here and now we got a porsche 924 
Oh, that's sick. And then we have the Stratus. And we have some biggie boys right here. Some SUVs. I don't even know what this... Oh, it's a Peugeot. Oh, here's the Jeep tractor looking thing that we started out with earlier in the video. We have a sick Ford Raptor in the game. Another sick Ford Raptor in the game. A, a Mitsubishi E-Evolution. That's in dirt. Hey, man, you always got to include the concept car somewhere, so that's pretty cool. The Chevrolet Colorado. We have an Escalade. That's got to take up, like, the entirety of your screen when driving it. That thing's huge. And then a Cayenne. A another. Oh, an Audi. An off-road Audi. That's, that's actually so sick. Okay. And then we have the... Oh, the DBX is in this game? That's cool. I think this might be, like, one of the first games that the DBX is in, to my knowledge. The Beetle WRC... Um, the Subaru, they're going to have a Subaru like this in the upcoming Gymkhana that Travis Pastrana is going to be in. That unintentionally rhymed. Another, oh, a really sick Audi, the Safari TT. I absolutely love this thing. I think that is so sick. An M2. Oh, this looks spicy. This looks like a track car. Uh, this must be for, I guess, a lot more tarmac use, I feel like. That looks... Very tarmac oriented. Same with this. This looks very track like, but I guess it's got some suspension travel and some off road tires. That's sick. Ooh, the new Fiat 124. A Porsche. What on earth? What on earth? This looks like Gravedigger on steroids. I, I don't. Someone please explain me these things. Because, like, does the aero actually matter? They're clearly designed with the functional purpose of aero, it looks like, but it's like. Are these things able to go fast enough where aero matters? That is one big beetle, if I say so myself. That That is a huge beetle. That's like, oh, let me stomp on that instantly beetle. Look at that pipe in the back. Look at that freaking cannon. That's cool. Another concept car. Oh, this is like a buggy concept car. Oh, they should definitely make that. That is so cool. You also can go over the profile, customize a lot of your player cards. Um, regions, racing numbers, and a lot of cool stuff about yourself in this game. This game is set up properly, I think, if you're into the sport of rally. Or if you're freaking bored and we don't have that many new racing games coming out at all. So if you just want a new racing game, go, please, for the love of everything, purchase Dirt 5. Thank you, Dirt, for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys all for watching. This is going to be Jack Ultra Motive signing the video off. Ultra.